So we are back. Back again with the sports poster collection series. And I, I felt in my body, I want to try something a little, just a little bit different. And of course, that little thing being like color grading, manipulation, and just learning, just doing some stuff. We'll see. Just before we start, by the way, don't forget to check out the first link in the description down below to check out my everything pack. 26 custom made products made just for you guys as designers and artists. The cool part is, of course, we have an awesome Discord community. You guys can also just check out, vibe with, learn from, and, and just like get some critiques, all that good stuff but it is just a single purchase and for the rest of your entire life you will get any product that i release free no matter what the price is email directly to you guys join the other 7100 and something something plus people and i hope you enjoy it so if i were to take you guys into photoshop i got my three images here and what i'm kind of referencing from okay so this first image i really enjoyed the mountains like this this framing system here i thought was super cool i mean candidly the entire environment looks really really dope and snowy and stuff i'm gonna try that we'll see what happens and then the second part this the color grading nice but i wonder if i can actually do it because genuinely in my entire existence i've never tried thirdly I, I really enjoy the composition of like how the actual player photos are so my hope is to take the composition from here the color grading from here and the framing from here and put them all together and make a nice lebron james poster so i have my photos already in play i also even have my little mountain face where is it at this one right here like right a nice little mountain face so i kind of got it going on already so my my mission here is to have these images basically be behind this one right here also these two images on the left hand side and hopefully just create this really cool like explosion of dope let me drag in this guy over here let's just drag in all of these for a second my goal my mission here is if i'm taking the composition framing from here this guy right here right i kind of want to have or maybe like this guy right here this is where i want to ha maybe have my player so i want to kind of have lebron standing like right here don't mind my my amazing sketch skills right if i take this i want to kind of also have like a square maybe to house this and i really enjoy how this the the framing of the square is there however they still like kind of mess with the framing by uh, the actual images kind of popping outside the frame a little bit and then my hope is that the mountains kind of come in here also then come in here maybe add a little shadow play down here that'd be kind of nice right and a little little text maybe like lebron james like over there maybe like a like a lakers logo over here can be kind of cool then also maybe why not just have like random shards uh like this over here is really dope i want to kind of play with depth of field as well so having some shards like come in to the foreground could be kind of sick and then i'm done in theory makes sense an execution i'm not sure yet tiny lebron here then having this over here some like this kind of play with the frame a little bit having this one come down from here right and then having no there's one more this guy look at look at why are you hiding got this guy over here drag this below as well and kind of have this one play with the framing like this i kind of want it to be sort of tight so if i were to take this we'll use a nice little rectangle tool over here for a second we'll use a real rectangle just in case i need to mess with the frame a little bit but i don't want the framing to be that big now then the mission is to take all of these so if i took these all of these should be masked to this one frame here then i want to duplicate all of them take them outside and then for each one i'll take this put a layer mask on it and then erase it that way we get that really cool outside frame so this guy take this one erase it so it keeps up right here that's pretty perfect now i got this i got that really cool look from that first mood board that is right here and however i really enjoy the fact that you don't see the borders of this board i wonder if i can do the same thing but let's just th throw in all the frames of the photos i want to take this over here this is my little mountain thing that i want to replicate that was going on in this t1 poster so i'll take this now i'll drag i'll keep it in the foreground for now on, on the top of my layers then i'll say bang i love how it actually flows off here because it kind of points to lebron at the bottom which is kind of dope so i'm gonna take this like there it's pretty good Control t flip this over and just mimic the same exact thing on this other side okay so now that kind of feels like he's centered you're looking through this canyon of some sorts and now i also want to add in a little bit of a gradient to see what happens over here so i'll take some of this let's make a gradient that's sort of like the same color as this i really love this idea and i will go ahead and take my darks and just kind of match this over here and I'll take my highlights and also match this over here. That way I can get like somewhat close to start off with. I do feel like this background is gonna help me out a lot. It's like, it's like a cloudy, dark background. Let me see if I can find a picture of that. Now this one, pretty decent already. This guy, pretty perfect. Now the, oh, the obvious thing though, is I got this black box. I'm not a fan of this black box, but this black box is doing a lot for the frame. That 
puts in question, should I like add the actual like, you know, cloudiness to this black box? Or maybe do I take my mountain, okay, and kind of cut this black box out as if it was the mountain? Something like this instead where I kind of make the, make sure I kind of figure this out right there. But then am I just getting too much mountain play? You know what I mean? Like there's just too much mountain going on where it doesn't feel like a framing system anymore how this one over here felt let's say the the opposite end of this okay is what if i had no mountain and i had to just kind of frame our current photos a little bit better so it kind of still fits as like this rectangle idea and then maybe just maybe it'll work but then the, we have these obvious players with no feet down here but we also have like some very obvious separation between the foreground and this right here what i'll do is i'll add a nice little curve okay we're gonna hold alt click on auto Find lights and darks, take the shadows, the darkest shadows in the cloud. Then I'll use a nice, nice highlights in the in the clouds as well, like the brightest color in the clouds, the darkest color in the shadows. I'll make this a little bit darker so that way I can kind of get to where the clouds are. It's by no means perfect, but helpful. Now, of course, the obvious thing that's sticking out like a sore thumb is the players themselves. So maybe just maybe I have to also add that same shadow or colors to or curves tone, excuse me to some of these photos here to see where I can get to myself. Adding that, you kind of see it changes the feeling a little bit. If I add it to everyone for a second, right? It feels like everyone's a little bit better off kind of like that. And I might just take this, kind of widen that gap. It was a little bit too narrow, I feel like. Now, the least I can do, okay, is grab in a nice little camera roll filter, give all of these guys a little color correction, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some shadows, brighten them up a little bit, some whites and some darks and just try to get as close as possible to all of their jersey colors, skin tones, and just see where it goes. Okay, so I got as close as possible. I think they're all these kind of matched. The jerseys are a little bit off, but it's gonna look okay, hopefully. Now, the hardest part that I'm still can't grasp this is this freaking square. A part of me is considering what if I do get rid of the square or at least the top half of it, right? I still kind of have it like right here, right? So if, if I'm here, okay, that these two can kind of fly the way they are. And if I do that, that kind of gets rid of a lot of my issues up top. But then I understand that if I do that, how do I cover this part down here? I can either do it with like some kind of cloud or something like that down here, some kind of smoke, or even just kind of actually erase it. But the, the other part, okay, the color correction, right? Do I, am I supposed to like use a gradient map, okay? And then like do something like this. I kind of have a gradient set for my mountains, right? And if I took this, kind of took the gradient itself and just said, yo, I'm going to put this down to like 26%, throw this on everyone, right? And do, do I, is that where I should start? You know, it's kind of feeling like it's, working i do feel like that looks good now of course this this box is going to be here all of our lives and if you're wondering if i can like lower the opacity or lower the fill i cannot because there's clipping masses on it but i can at least hide it a little bit with like this gradient map on top of it instead right it kind of works out i can match it really if I just put this on like 47, okay, now it's gone. And now we got like no, no square. Okay, and that's that's a good part. I have this. Now, the, the way I wanna add some depth into this is of course adding in the right lights, all that good stuff, but I also still need like some floating rocks. The question though is I got some other cool rocks. Like if you just keep clicking, you find into this like rock hole. But the one that I at least got was this guy. Now this is pretty decent, but the, the, the cutout, is really bad but i could save it and i actually think it could be worth it so let's go ahead and activate code save these rocks we got our rocks all right let's go let's start dragging these in for so if you ask yourself okay if you ask yourself what is this <laughs> you're gonna find zero answer just go with it Okay, let's go ahead and drag this gradient and curve onto the same exact thing. And now that, look at those rocks. Now I need to also add the same thing to these rocks over here. We're looking like we're summoning something. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Don't act like every time that you start designing, you knew what you were doing. Don't. We got some composition. Let's let's throw some text in here for a quick second because Lord knows I need to put some of that. Maybe it'll be like this and I'll have like 23 over here, not 24. And then like maybe the Lakers logo will like sit up here or something like that. And I just want to kind of write it just so I kind of understand what's going to happen. Maybe some subtext like over here, here. Now, the, the, the next part of this, this crazy adventure is we're going to need to do like a little bit of curves. Okay, now with these curves, make it real nice and dark. Is it curves trying to use levels? Oh no, okay, levels, and then I just drag this in over here. The point of this is, do I wanna like take this 
and start like really trying to add light and kind of seeing what would occur if I did something like that and add some like depth with the light. Now the question is, I don't really know how and where to add this light. I'm just basically gonna mimic where there's light already on these jerseys, okay? You see, turn it on, turn it off. It's something, and I think that's just where I'm gonna where I'm gonna start. So I added that here. We're gonna add some of this first person here. I think that's like the most important guy. I feel like that's adding something. I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Everyone has a little bit of levels on them, and for some reason, I think it just adds a little bit more depth. It looks decent. It doesn't look like there's not no real genuine light source around. You know what I mean? But you know, in my heart. It feels like something happened. What I need to do is also figure out like some smoke, something to cover this bottom part. And am I just gonna place it like around this area below him, of course, to kind of hide all this stuff that's going on? Like, even if this was really perfect, let's just say like, if this is all clogged up, right? Does it make sense? Not quite. Is it helpful? Kind of. And I can probably go ahead and even add in like the curves and gradient map to this to make it all somehow make sense. I can just make this white, right? To add some depth into there. Just kind of let this go in something like so. Now from here, if I kind of just take this and push this a little bit further down, I can get more depth in the clouds. And I think that looks pretty good just like that. Now, of course, we need some separation between the actual like photos themselves in the background. The easiest way to do that is to add in some lights like so, right? And this is basically gonna be a nice little light to kind of separate the page. Add another one right here as well to kind of feel feel that out and it might be pretty good to add another one like right kind of in this area and maybe not like so far out but I think it's feeling accurate to what I want which makes me think I gotta go back to this guy here and really add in a lot more light instead now if you guys did notice I did ground this image a little bit more with this foot of uh, the feet right I kind of just added some shadows in here as well like so honestly I actually end up using my shadow pack just recent release you know a nice little black you need a foot shadow bang you rotate this now you click right a few times it's always usually darker near the front and just some more nice little organic shadow for the people who don't really know how to make organic shadows of mine it works out pretty well for this instance so i think at this point now i'm just gonna start adding in like the nice little halo rim light and just see where i can go from there so i'm gonna add this really nice thin line all the way around over here as well then i'll go in again with a nice little bigger brush i guess i feel like this did something kind of turning it on and off for a little bit it feels it feels okay i'm not gonna say it doesn't let's try to add it on to everyone else at this point I feel like I got all my glows in place. And I think this, I mean, this guy in the middle is a little bit too dark. I wonder if I can fix it by just bringing up his luminance on the orange here. I'll try to mess with the curve a little bit here instead. This one right here, this, this is supposed to be like not really a main focus shot, but there's something about the fact that he's just kind of sitting in this area and has no real like focus on him so if i wonder if i hit it a few times with like some little atmosphere white kind of going on around maybe also go ahead and give him some highlights and shadows and i'm a guess for the sake of it i also probably need to do it over here too so i'm at this point not much is changing i'm doing like very small things let me just try to do a little more drastic changes something like a little bit of gaussian blur for the background here at like three or so pixels okay that'll work out for me now this is obviously a little bit awkward with like this blurry rock in this one section i think all of these rocks honestly should be pretty blurry now the, the stuff that he's standing on here and here i think could probably add some gaussian blur right those rocks looks pretty decent in the front now i would say let's go ahead and add in our lebron james text and the lakers logo it could be pretty dope to kind of play with this i mean it's a little illegible right but at this point does it does it like really matter as long as you kind of see the l like i don't want it to be like super small like this i mean it could be i definitely want to use like some kind of extended font like this one could be kind of sick and then we'll also add the number 23 maybe a little lakers tag right there take this make it nice and tiny then let's just go ahead as well and add in a nice little one of my noise textures. I mean, with vivid light, it looks kind of sick only because it makes it super vibrant. I would say one of these have to be my answer. We don't need it everywhere, so that's kind of nice. I like the little sparkle there for sure. Maybe I'll take this one because this has like a little nice little film grain line almost. 
I'm telling you, everything pack is absolutely freaking worth it. Honestly, let's go ahead. Control Alt Shift E, Smart Object, Camera Raw Filter, and let's just see what we cook right here. Let's add a little bit of exposure, maybe a little bit of contrast. Honestly, lower those darks and shadows a little bit. And let's press OK, and I think I'm done. Honestly, I have I have to be done. My eyes are burning. Honestly, I've never in my life tried this in particular so these this hopefully hopefully this looks good like if i gave myself a rating i'm saying like a solid seven and you know what a 10 for effort that is the end of the video here today i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys conquer your fears and your designs as you guys can see this is not my normal day-to-day -day art direction that i choose to go for but i i hopefully hopefully there's some kind of hope in here but the promise of these videos of course is to showcase a lot of these ideas and uh, uh, more or less executions on different ways to color scheme or uh, color correct or even just composition and hopefully in turn influence you to try something yourself so with that being said seso hq out if you're having to keep smiling stay positive and stay a freaking perfect guys let much love peace enjoy your day don't forget the everything pack I'm gone. Peace.